Okay, I call to order the uh, November board meeting for the Argus Community Board School of Trustees, School Board of Trustees at 7.01 according to the library wall clock. Uh, let's see, Mr. Medich, since you're in the back, you should be able to project and help us with bleeding the flesh. <coughs> States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I ask that we all observe a moment of silence. Choose to deal with that however you'd like to. Item three, patron communication. I'll go first. Name, please. First Johnson. Can you stand, please? Um, sure. Thank you. No problem. Um, just looking ahead at the agenda, um, specifically for resignations, I want to thank Michelle. Um, Having kids in the school system, I worked with Michelle at that school in North Oest. You guys don't know what it is, but um, we used to work up there together. And I just want to say, for somebody that has kids in the school system, um, I really looked at your appointment as a positive thing for our school. And seeing what's going to happen here shortly, whether you fought for this or not in this room and celebrated with a pizza party, this is a bad thing. This is a setback for Argus, and uh, you're going to be missed. I'm really sorry. Mark Umbaugh. I don't know. I know what's probably going to happen. I don't know who's right. I don't know who's wrong. But the one question I would have to the board is, if there was a problem, was there ever a plan of action to help correct the problem with definable points? Or is this just something that sort of led on? I mean, number one, I don't think she should resign. I think she, if she, if you want to fire her, fire but I would, I would not resign, I would take the salary. Because I don't think what's happening followed protocol and it, it just doesn't seem like it's the way it should have been. Uh, Thomas Glenn, uh, Ms. Reese, the last two days without you outside has been somber and quiet. You can tell a difference in the attitudes of the kids. And it was brought to my attention that we should fix the inside first before we get rid of you. And I, I totally agree with that. I think you are awesome. I think you do a great job. And as an outsider from Argus, because I've been told that a lot, I think you're wonderful. And I wish you would stay. Chuck Calhoun, I just have one question. Um, is Mrs. Rich resigning or is she being pushed out? Would you like to answer that, please? It's a, it's a resignation. It's right here on the uh, agenda as such. So. George Nall. Um, I've worked with Michelle on some meetings. Suzanne's been in meetings, Mark's been in meetings. Um, she has moved forward with the school, working with the town and the parks. She's a very positive person. She did come in, she made changes, she shook the bush, she upset people. It happens everywhere. I know. I'm on the council with Suzanne. We don't all agree with everything. Some of our decisions aren't the greatest, but we live with them. So I hope that uh, you supported her <clears throat> and didn't just backdoor the week. Well, Mission Michelle, if you do leave. Kelly Shy, I work for the town of Argus on the Crossing Garden. Who are the crossing guards supposed to go to for the 
elementary principal position when we have problems with children on the street. With she leaves. <coughs> She's the best person for the job. I go for to Nick for the high school. Who do I go for now? She leaves. A legit question. It's a legit question. And if that is something that is vacated, then we will address that issue and it will be clearly conveyed. And I will miss you. You're a very lovely woman. My dad loved you and I love you too. You shouldn't be living. Suzanne Umball and I am on the Artist Town Council. We have Michelle and I have worked together where the school and town has come together, and she's been a pleasure to work with and has really moved things forward within the community. I don't know within these walls, I am not here. There may be issues here, I'm not privy to. But I don't like this procedure, and I have not liked the way all of this has happened. We were to one meeting. But the whole meeting was to do a petition to get rid of Michelle. This community has some very negative factions, and it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed with the negativity of this community. I was instrumental in getting video for Argus. I went to Big Idea with Mr. Walker and helped promote that. Ten days ago, I went to Indianapolis, inside Indiana business, and did an interview. Mm -hmm. How Argus is a good community to live in. I'm beginning to think it was a shame. I am embarrassed. Michelle, I've had a pleasure working with you. Thank you for all your service. John Vanderweil, and I want to thank you, Michelle, for the great job to the board. It was the first time that I've been here since my daughters have been around, which is 10 plus years, <coughs> that I felt this school finally had a vision. I don't think we have any vision. No. Michelle, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your patronage to the school and your hard work with the town and the school. It's going to be greatly missed. And I want to know what's next. An interim superintendent is not going to work for my child. And I hope the parents in this room demand more than that. We demand a full-time superintendent in this building because we have leadership issues in this school. Thank you. Mike Heckerman here, and uh, I also want to thank Michelle for all she's done. I know uh, I worked with her very closely. Didn't know her when we started, but I seen how involved she was with the community. And she gave a lot of endless effort to a lot of projects that we had earlier in the year. Agree with them or disagree with them, you know. But whatever's best for our school is what we want. But I'll miss you and thank you for all your service, Michelle. <coughs> Thank you, Michelle. I know um, I've got three kids in this school, and when you came, you listened to us. You let us parents come in and talk to you and let you know our concerns, and you you did something about it. So, as a parent, thank you.
had the pleasure of knowing Michelle and working with her during your time that you've been here. I've gone to Michelle with many things. Michelle, can we do this? Michelle, can we do this? And it's always been all for the kids. And that's what it's been all about. It's been about the kids. But I've made a good friend. You will be missed. Thank you for everything you've done. I wish you well, whatever endeavor you choose to take. And to the board, I challenge you, because Michelle has brought many good things. Have there been some bumps along the way? Yes, there have. But whenever there's change, there's always bumps. Michelle was bringing in vocational programs. There's a strong need for those. Please, don't let the hard work that she put into that just fall along the wayside. Not every child is intended to go to a four-year or a two-year institution. You need your electricians, you need your plumbers, you need your ditch diggers, you need your garbage men. Not everybody's gonna go to Purdue or IU or if my son has his way, the University of Kentucky. <laughs> but please, the, the things, the programs that she's put into place, don't let them go away because there's some really good programs. There's good things that our kids need. So please, don't let her hard work just fall along the way. Michelle, I thank you and I wish you well. I'm Jennifer Stoltz, my teacher. You know, I don't know what the problem is, but this is getting old. As a teacher that's been here now 25 years, I've seen good, and boy, I've seen a lot of bad. Our kids deserve better than whatever's going on in this town. It's not just the school, it's this community where everyone has got to get along. Everyone has got to be here for the kids. Because this is getting old. You don't think it's affecting kids? Fourth grade, I've got fourth graders talking about it. I'm embarrassed by that, that we cannot get along for the sake of our children. I have two grand, three grand girls now. <laughs> they want to go here because this is etched in the stalls. This is part of the stalls. This is part of my grandparents, Gary Carr. I don't think they're going to go here now. And my mom is sick over this. I've been sick over it. I haven't ate. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what your feelings are. But we have to find out what's going on and get our act together as a community. <coughs> Any other comments? Sorry, Suzanne. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Item four, approval of minutes from regular and exec sessions. I'll make a motion to approve. Item A, regular minutes for October 10th, 2016. I'll second that. Discussion on that. <clears throat> Hearing none, those in favor, say aye. 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 I move that we approve the executive session meeting minutes from November 14th as presented. I'll second that motion. Discussion on that. Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Oh, and two abstentions? Two okay. abstentions. Okay, item five, personnel changes. Um, Comments, I, Michelle? Yes, I do. Um, I ask the board to approve the following personnel changes as presented. But first, before I do so, I want to say thank you to Jay and Zach. Um, I know 
Zach is here. I don't know if I see Jay here. But thank you for a good season in regards to our girls' soccer program. Best of luck with whatever the future holds for um, each of you. So, Zach, good luck. I know that you're going to um, continue your education. So, um, best of luck. Um, the next one I want to say is I want to say thank you to Mr. Carter for his years of service at Argus Schools. His countless hours spent ensuring all is well at the building um, and the projects he has completed are just a brief description of what he has done. So I don't see Mr. Carter here, but I did want to make sure I mentioned him as well. And prior to going ahead and approving uh, everything, I want to state my appreciation to the board for allowing me to lead Argus Schools the past two years. Most importantly, I want to thank the parents, the staff, and the students at Argus Schools. Continue to do what is best and right for all students and help all the students achieve their goals. And in regards to my resignation, I'm taking this opportunity to further my career. So thank you, everyone. Entertain a motion regarding the personnel items. I'll make that motion. I move we approve the personnel changes listed in items A through H, which include an employee resignation agreement with the superintendent, and further move that we authorize the board president to sign that agreement. I'll second that. Discussion on that? I'd just like to say on behalf of the board, I'd like to thank Michelle um, <coughs> the board for what she has done. She's done a lot of good things in serving as a dual role. Um, she's done what we asked her to do as a superintendent <coughs> and as a principal. And um, we appreciate her efforts, I, and I, I personally do. Uh, I spent quite a year with Michelle um, and some of you in the room, and I thank her for that. And uh, I. We and I do wish you the best. I, don't, I just want to echo Brett's sentiments. Uh, certainly, a lot of, a lot of time and effort, and uh, you know, Michelle's a tireless worker, and we certainly appreciate uh, the amount of effort that she's put in on the school's behalf. Those in favor of items A through H as motion, uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? Item six, approval of donation from Jack and Mulaney. I ask the board to approve the signed donation from Jack and Mulaney, and thank you to Jackie for making that sign for us. assume it's an action item. Yes, yes. Okay. Anyone want to? I'll make a motion to accept the donation from Jack Mulaney mm -hmm. of signs. Second. Discussion on that? Those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, item seven is uh, the uh, approval of the energy harness lighting project. And this is one of the, I guess, kind of the late changes to the agenda. And I wanted to apologize to those who uh, have the, are on the distribution list for the emails and stuff. Uh, we realized that this was one that uh, kind of slipped through our cracks and we needed to get the formal uh, approval put together on this. Uh, there was a presentation that uh, Mr. Carter gave to all of us during the September board meeting regarding this this project and uh, upgrading to these high efficiency light fixtures throughout a lot of the building. We've been doing these in phases and it kind of moves us much further along in that uh, in that regard. So this is one of the changes that was kind of late and wasn't on that initial agenda so I apologize. Uh, I'll entertain a motion regarding that uh, lighting project. Uh, I'll make the motion to, uh, to approve the energy, energy harness lighting project. I'll second that. 
discussion on that. Basically, it's phase two, wasn't it? Yeah, phase okay. two. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Nothing for a future discussion right now. Okay. And then uh, claim approval. I ask the board to approve <coughs> 10 pages of accounts payable claims in the amount of $343,676.09. Eight pages of payroll claims, $362,453. I'm sorry, $362,453.86. For a total of $706,129.95. I'll make the motion to approve claims as read by Jennifer Lee. I'll second. Questions, comments on the uh, claims as presented? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Transfer appropriations for CPF. Mrs. Lee? Yes, you had uh, a lot of documentation that was put up for you um, to just move things between lines um, from the original appropriations that the state gave us back in uh, January to what we as the year goes by, things change, so we need to um, move things around a little bit. So uh, you have the documentation there that shows how things, I would like things to be moved with the board's approval. I'll make the motion to approve the resolution to transfer appropriation funds. Uh, into the 2016 yeah, fun. Second. Discussion on that? Okay, those in favor say aye. 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 Item 11, classified staff and <coughs> director wages. Um, there was a, an adjustment for the, uh, the classroom staff recently, and this is there's an adjustment then for the, uh, the classified staff. And then the, a big part of this as well is there's a guidance or actually a mandate from the Department of Labor as far as what the minimum amount a salaried employee in certain categories has to be paid. And so there are some adjustments to some of the director positions um, to comply with the new law, which goes into effect December 1st as well. Entertain a motion regarding uh, those adjustments. Make a motion we approve those adjustments as stated. Second. Discussion on that item. Okay, hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, financial reports, Mrs. Lee. <coughs> Thirteen. Again, this was another one of the uh, the late adjustments. Was uh, we had some professional development reports that were not uh, part of the agenda earlier, so we wanted to incorporate those. So those are items A and B, which uh, have been shared with the board. Any questions or comments on those? 
And another late strike was the um, approval of uh, Laura Jones as the volunteer cross country coach, and that had already been done, so that was why that was adjusted from the agenda from the original version thereof. Okay. Okay. Uh, item 14 board comments. Money? Nothing. I'll comment. Um, <clears throat> the comments that I've heard tonight, I appreciate. I appreciate the positiveness of those comments about our school. Um, I listened to Jennifer and I talked to Jennifer and, and she's right. There's, um, We've been here and there's been challenges and it's frustrating sometimes of what we up here have to go through from two sides. But I mentioned as I walked in the building, um, it feels good when I come here because I know that this is a special place and that kids that come here, I believe especially kids that are don't have the advantages. Um, I argue that a, a kid that's challenged will come out better coming to Argus than any other school. And, and I believe that. I believe that we do have to work together and those that choose to work against um, need to be opposed heavily. And I, I worked really hard a year ago. Um, finances someday are gonna be a problem again. And I worked really hard with Michelle and with this board and with many of you sitting here um, to do what we could. And, and that'll have to be addressed again someday. And so for those of you who do believe in this place and want to see it succeed, you have to find your friends and you have to get them involved too. Um, and you have to win because there are people who um, care about only themselves and not about their community. And we've seen them. And so I'm asking you that as we move forward, you find more of your friends. And I know, um, you know, I, I just would appreciate that. I know many of you sitting here that, that work really hard to find the good. There are some that choose to just find the bad, and those people need to lose. And so we need to work together. Um, Jennifer, I hope that turns. I understand, and, and there are those moments. Um, but we do have to, um, we do have to come together as best we can and move forward. Um, I'd like to thank Brad for everything he done here and has done, and I know he's conveyed that he will do whatever he can to help out even more as things go on. Um, looks like we're looking for some new soccer coaches. I'm glad the guys were here to do what they did this year. Thank you, Michelle. We're at the bottom of a big hill, looking up. Uh, it got smaller. I think we're back to the beginning again. Um, things are probably going to get tough, but you got people that are looking up and looking out, and hopefully we can keep going in the right direction. Because things are you pay attention to what's going on, it's not getting better, it's getting worse, and it's probably going to get a little worse before it gets a little better. But we can get through it. We'll be the first time. I, I was going to say it before, but I'll say it now. I thank Michelle for all her hard work. Um, thank you, Michelle. It hasn't gone unnoticed. Uh, thank the audience here tonight um, for your professionalism. Quite frankly, I was pretty worried about that coming into tonight. We have sat through some meetings that have not been so professional, and I appreciate that for your board and for Michelle tonight. Um, but that's how this meeting went. And I um, appreciate my board members who, um, the five of us, have spent uh, more hours than we can count, um, and they do take these meeting very seriously and to understand the challenges ahead of us and are working towards um, those solutions. I'd like to start with uh, offering condolences to Brenda Baker and her family for the loss of her mother recently. Um, certainly never, I think, you know, you 
you prepare yourself mentally, but you can never really be prepared when those things happen. So um, certainly there was a lot of outpouring of support and, and love for her from within this building. Um, and, and I'm sure she appreciates that as well. Uh, I'll say a few things about the staff that we have here. Um, you know, we've had, obviously, there, there's been um, turnover upheaval at the top in the past. Uh, we're faced with that again tonight. This staff, over time, has shown resilience. This staff, over time, has shown the ability to change, to roll with punches, to adapt, uh, to take on challenges, not be daunted, to lift each other up, to lean on each other. Obviously, we're in a situation again where that's going to be the case. I have faith in the staff that we have. I have faith in, uh, I still have faith in this place. Maybe some of you don't, but I do. If I didn't, I want to be up here. Um, regardless of what you may think of our decisions or, or what you may think of the, the reasons behind our decisions, none of us are up here for ourselves. Uh, it's a lot of time and effort and commitment that, that we put in. I'm not asking for thanks, but there's a reason we're up here. And that reason is we do love this place and we are invested in this place. We believe in the future of this place. And, you know, we make the best decisions that we can make as we make them. So, um... You're certainly free to your opinions, and we certainly appreciate you expressing those opinions, both in and outside the meetings, and I hope that you do so, and continue to do so. But we need to take away from this not a feeling of, oh darn, or woe is us, or here we are again. We need to say, okay, let's pick ourselves up, let's pull up by the bootstraps, Let's do what we need to do to move forward and move through things. And the last thing, I sincerely wish everyone here a happy Thanksgiving and safe travels. Um, be careful on the roads. If you're trying to fly through O'Hare, good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, there were, there were some rumors, I guess, around about... I guess rumors abound because we're, we're a small town and that's what happens. Uh, I guess there are rumors abound about us closing the school or something. We've never talked about that. We've never considered that. We aren't considering that. We're committed to this place, and that means this place. These people, the kids who run through this building on a daily basis, because that's what it is all about, and that's what it remains about. And so, I'm telling you right now, that's garbage. It's unfounded. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. There's nothing to that. So, that's my word. That's all I have to say on that. I feel like Forrest Gump. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. I'll second. I think Monty got the tape. Those in favor of uh, adjournment say aye. Aye. And we are adjourned at 7.35. On the opposite of the tradition, I'm going to move here. I'm glad we got the tape. We are. Probably did. Yeah. 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 Ye